how to get started with mid journey mid journey tutorial hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today we will be taking a look at how you can make the most out of mid journey so let's get into it now mid journey is a amazing ai that enables you to create creative images from a basic prompt you can provide any kind of prompt and it will convert that into a image for you the more detailed the prompt is the better the image is going to come out so you can not only do this with prompts but you can even take pre-existing images and ask midjourney to alter them or create them in a new style and midjourney will do that for you so it's definitely something that you can do a lot with you can create creative images you can even create digital art and start selling it and making passive income via that so let's get started now, first off, you just go on to midjourney.com. Once you are in midjourney.com, just click on join the beta on the bottom right of your screen, and this will lead you to Discord. So to use midjourney, you do need to have a Discord account. But once you click on that, you will click on accept invite, and this will open up the pre-existing Discord account that you have logged on to. If you don't have a Discord account, you will have to create one beforehand or you will just be led to the discord sign up page and you can sign up for discord it's very simple all you need is a email address and that is it so once you join the mid journey discord you will be able to see this is the home page this is not where you're supposed to work so after the home page on the left side of your screen you see this navigation panel in this navigation panel you have if you scroll down you have newbies so newbies are already channels where you're supposed to work as a newbie because you don't want all the other channels to be flooded. You get multiple different, uh, you know, updates from the bug reporting, the AI moderation, the rules section, getting started section. All of that is where you get, you know, basic info. But generally, all you have to do is get started on the newbie section. As long as you're not bothering anyone, there are really no rules to this AI. You can create anything you want. But to get started with, you know, creating art, you can no longer have a free trial on Midjourney. Midjourney is currently a paid application. So if I go on ahead and do slash and then click on slash imagine and then I provide a prompt. So it will ask me that a subscription is required because Midjourney is no longer a free application or free AI to use. This is due to the high demand, but all you have to do to subscribe is click on the open subscription page, click on yes, and we're just going to wait for this to be refreshed. I'm just going to refresh this because it's taking a little time. So you guys can see this is the Midjourney subscription uh, plan and they have two basic versions. So on yearly billing, you save $2 a month and on monthly billing, you're going to be starting with a $10 plan. And if you want the standard plan, you get the $30 plan. And if you want the pro plan, you get the $60 plan. So with the $10 plan, you get limited generations, which is 200 generations a month. So you can generate 200 images, which is pretty adequate. It's not uh, something that's too less. It's quite a lot of images and you can do a lot with that. Then you also have general commercial terms. You have access to member gallery, optional credit top ups and three concurrent fast jobs. Then you have the standard plan starting with 15 hour fast generations. You have unlimited relaxed generation. So you can basically generate as many images as you want on the standard plan. If you feel like you're going to uh, be using a lot of uh, images, so you're going to be working with a lot of different image generations, then the standard plan is definitely better for you. And then you have the pro plan where you have unlimited relaxed generations with 30 hours of fast generations and uh, 12 concurrent fast jobs, stealth image generation, credit top ups and access to member gallery. So we're just going to click on subscribe on the basic plan. So I'm just going to refresh it because I'm having some issues in checkout. But so over here, I have just completed my purchase of mid journey. This is your confirmation page. The previous page was my checkout page. You can pay via card or you can also pay via the cash app and I've just completed payment. So after that, it is just going to close up like that. And just like that, you have all of your information. So now that we have our my subscription plan 
bought on our mid journey we can get started with creating on mid journey so now when you go on to the mid journey bot you guys can see uh if i go on to the newbie section now i can go ahead and type in slash and you get the basic uh imagine prompt which is the basic prompt by mid journey and then you can enter any kind of prompt so let's say i want to create a cover photo for and let's say i want a profile image for you know a art profile so I've sent my command and the prompt is a girl in a Japanese street with long hair wearing this Japanese school uniform walking away with a hazy sunset. So I've just provided this prompt and it is going to get started with creating our little prompt. You can see it is now being generated and we're just going to wait for this to be completed. So it's going to take a couple of seconds. It's ready. And we're just waiting for it to be completed and it will give you four different variations of the same item so let's wait for this to be completed now you guys can see that it's going to give you four or different variations of the same item you guys can see this has now been completed this was our image let's just take a look this is our image over here and it looks very amazing now there are two different things you can do with this you can build more variations of a specific version so let's say i really like this but i want a different version of this but you can do that but if you like one of these pictures and you just want to you know zoom in and get the full quality picture then you can just click on u1 so u1 is this one u2 is this one u3 is this one u4 is this one and you can go on ahead and choose to enhance that image and get the full version of that image let's say i want to create more variations and let's say i want to create more variations of the first one i will click on v1 over here and what this will do is that it will create more variations so you can see on the bottom now I have more uh, variations being generated of that specific image that I selected. So now it's generating my variations. It's going to take a couple of seconds. Obviously with Midjourney, you're, because it's such a high demand software, it might take a little bit of time, but it is still quite worth it because it just usually takes like a minute or two to generate a very detailed image. And you really can't find this kind of quality image, even with artists that you're going to pay. So you guys can see over here, it has generated different versions or variations of the image that I initially asked it to. And after these variations, what, whichever one I want, I can even add further uh, information in the prompt so it can customize it accordingly. Or I can even just basically ask it to redo it and I can click this button and it will regenerate my prompt in a different manner. I can also just enhance any of these images and use those. So this is how you can get started with Midjourney. It definitely is one of the most amazing tools out there. The power of AI is really emphasized with Midjourney. And I have a couple of other videos on how you can use Midjourney not in this newbies chat, but have your own private Midjourney server. So make sure to check those out as well and i will catch you guys in the next video